Well, it, it's and it's an area of the pitch that we've spoken about many times that you think Celtic are overloaded anyway mm. when you have Maida and Jota and Abada and Forrest. And Haksabanovic, I watched some stuff this afternoon, just some footage of him, and he seems very similar to Jota in a way that he wants to he wants to play off the left, he wants to come in on his right foot, he loves a little chop, he loves taking defenders on. And I just wonder is he looking at is Ange Postacoglu looking at uh, some away games, for example, yeah. in the Scottish Premiership where the pitches are smaller, teams are sitting deep, there's limited space, Maida doesn't have the the area to run into. He's not really a dribbler, so you might need two out and out dribblers in the wide areas just to try and open up defences and unlock defences and make things a little bit easier. But, you know, he's only 23 years of age. There's still lots of improvement in him. Uh, Ange can mould him into the type of player he wants within his system, but he's a creator, he's an entertainer, he's got lots of flair, uh, and he's certainly got plenty of tricks and flicks, so he'll uh, he'll certainly let up Celtic Park if he gets the chance. You wouldn't fancy coming up against him? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fancy coming up against many wingers, Paul, put it that way. <laughs> who, who did? Peter? No, listen, I think yeah. you, you can never have enough quality up the top end of the pitch, yeah. especially if you want to open doors when people are making five defenders at the back with four midfielders, you've got to create space. Then it comes down to the 1v1s. That's when you need that wee bit of creative spark. It's okay passing and moving all the time, but you need that individual bit at times to take people on. And there are the moments it can happen. As we said last week, people are talking about me in a centre forward. We're saying, well, you're a front player nowadays. That's what you would say there more nowadays than anything else. We're not allowed to call him a winger anymore. No, Peter said it last week. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's very much so because yeah. they're not, sure. because they've got to play everywhere now, you know, right across that front line. And I think that's the beauty of them if you're interchanging, mm. Celtic, especially with Celtic, the way they bring the fullbacks inside the pitch, you know. so... They, there are a lot of tight spaces in there and you've got to play in tight spaces and then, but then you need that still that moment of magic in that final third where you have that wee creative spot that somebody can do that wee bit of magic and that's to why I on. like watching Jota because he still likes to go outside defenders and even James yeah. Forrest when he comes on he, he wants to go outside too often now wingers wide players whatever they're called want to come and play inverted and all they're doing is condensing their own space because that's where everybody's looking for that space inside the pitch and pockets and all this stuff they talk about Nothing better than a wide player getting the ball, knocking it past his opponent and putting the cross well, out. Well, I think that's what the manager's trying to do this year a few times with Jota. We're playing him on the right because yeah. it's the only reason I can see it and, and at times because if he goes on the outside, he's delivering with his right foot and he thinks maybe there's too many bodies centrally. So maybe going on the outside with his right foot and delivering from the right-hand side and Maeda can play on the left. But it was interesting he started the opposite way on Saturday yeah. and he played Jota back on the left-hand side and Maeda on the right.